Welcome to my health journey. Last month, I kind of gave you a couple ideas on how I was becoming more healthy and taking care of myself. Today's video, I'm going to share the details, what I eat, what I drink, um, what are the little treats I have, um, my exercise equipment. So I want to share it all with you and I can't wait. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 71 and I said because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. Thank you to my wonderful, sweet subscribers. I so appreciate you watching my videos and just leaving me the best comments and you always are so encouraging. It just really touches my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't wanna miss any of these 2023 videos with a different theme every month. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, before we get started, I had a very good reason for wanting to improve my health. And that was, I was diagnosed with type two diabetes, basically due to my diet. And I was put on metformin. Uh, before I get started, I am not a medical professional. I am not a healthcare provider. Uh, this is just sharing things that I found to make me healthier and always check with your doctor before changing your diet or activity or whatever, okay? You know that, especially when you're trying to reverse your type two, because I'm just gonna give you a very brief thing. I work very carefully with my doctor. I actually tested my blood sugar four times a day and kept a record of it as I changed my diet, because as I changed my diet, my blood sugar uh, levels were going down and she had to adjust my medicine till I was off the medicine altogether. And it only took for me about a month, okay? Um, but it's keeping your carbs. Basically what I do is this, it's ketogenic diet, but basically it's 20 to 30 carbs a day is what I do. Try to keep it more towards 20. I basically eat a good quality protein, meats and eggs and cheeses and that kind of thing, uh, low carb vegetables and healthy fats. Though that's basically what I eat and I can eat out anywhere. I was at an Italian restaurant and I had two big meatballs and a little bit of sauce with a nice salad, okay? I went out to eat with a bunch of people yesterday and I had a cheeseburger with no bun, extra tomatoes and a side salad on the side. So you can eat anywhere, really. Um, I love the habit. I mean, I eat there and I get a protein style burger and a side salad. So this can be done. Now, I never ate really bad before. I was always kind of low carb, but you know, I'd still cheat and have chips and sweets. Those are my two bad areas. Now, I will say this. Cutting back on sugar and processed carbs, that's not going to hurt anybody. That is only going to help your health, I'm telling you. Okay, so um, when I got off that medicine, and I've been on this journey for about two and a half years, I've been on this diet, and um, things change. My heartburn went away. I'm never starving hungry. Okay, I try to eat between three and nine o'clock. Now I know that sounds really late and I'm trying to move that a little bit less, but I am, I like to stay up late at night and I would tend to want to snack, snack, snack. If I, you know, ate at five o'clock or something, I'd be eating all night long. So I have to kind of bump it up a little bit. I know that's probably not the best thing, but anyway, so I eat two meals a day. Um, in the morning, I make my drink that gets me through the whole day. And I want to go through, I know I already, I already showed you, but I, I did add something to it. Now, I think the smart thing to do these days is to kind of go with tea instead of coffee. I know everybody loves coffee, but the expense of coffee and creamers and all this stuff. And I gave up coffee because I realized I was just eating it for the creamer, drinking it for the creamer, which is not good for you. So I make cold brew black tea and green tea together, and I make a big container of it in filtered water. I cold brew it. When you hot brew tea, it becomes more bitter, or sun tea is more bitter, then you gotta put sweetener in it. I put no sweetener at all on that. So I start with that, pour that into a container, okay? Now, a new thing I've just started to eat is adding collagen to my drink. Um, this is the one that you see advertised, Vital Proteins. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I'm just telling you what I use. So a scoop of that, I'm trying to, it's for hair, nails, and joints. I'm having trouble with my knees 
and my crepey skin. So I'm gonna see if that helps. Electrolyte powder. If you're gonna run on fat instead of sugar, your body will not retain, um, it won't bloat as much with water and it, you release the water. You need to replace your electrolytes. So this has magnesium, sodium, potassium, and trace minerals. Okay, so I put a scoop of this. It's got a lot of good potassium also in it. And this is from Dr. Berg and it's lemon raspberry. Okay, now I do a green thing because I never think we get enough greens and this has probiotics in it and it's got all kinds of good things and non-GMO, you gotta get these at the health store. So I got that at Sprouts. And then this is Dr. Gunry, this is really expensive, but I don't eat fruit. So I wanted to get some of the benefits from something that has uh, I don't think there's, let me see, total sugar. There's less than one gram of sugar in this, but I'm getting all the goods from all the red uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff. So that's good. And then this is weird. You don't have to do it, but I just, I think nutritional yeast, I shake it in food, everything. It's all your B vitamins. So, so good for you. And then again, juice of a Meyer lemon. And that ends up tasting kind of like a little bit like a tart cherry, very mild lemony flavor. And I'm drinking it right now. Um, I'll drink it. It's about 2.30. I won't even eat till probably 3.30 today. And I'm not hungry. I'm not starving hungry. I get to the point where I start to feel like I want to eat. But it's, it's just a whole different feeling than running on sugar. Okay, so what do I eat? So usually my first meal is either an omelet situation with eggs, which could be regular omelet with on onions and some organic greens and things like that. Or I make a Mexican version with olives and salsa and chopped chicken and seasoning. Or I can do an Italian one with some um, uncured salami. I'll add a little bit of that with olives and mushrooms and and it kind of looks like a pizza when I get done with it, if I do it flat. So have fun with that. Or I have a gigantic chopped salad, vegetables, um, cucumber, broccoli, cauliflower. Um, I do olives. I do avocado. That's one of your good fats. Um, what else do I put in there? Chicken, feta cheese. I mean, but make it all chopped. And it's so good. I want to share my salad dressing with you. Do not be putting tons of salad dressing that you get from the grocery store. That stuff, soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil. I mean, it's just horrible oils. They're seed oils and they cause inflammation. Coconut oil is really good. I have that and I also do olive oil and I try to get the purest extra olive, uh, extra virgin olive oil I can. I mix it with some red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, a bunch of Dijon mustard and this is not perfect. I think there's less than one gram of sugar in here, but the Zesty um, zesty Good Seasons Italian. At least I know I have a good oil and vinegar in there, not a bunch of chemicals, okay? So that's what I make and I really love. I marinate my chicken in it. I do all kinds of things in it. So so after, after I have, I call it my brunch, about an hour later, I have, I brew a cup of tea. I think there's something kind of neat about having a cup of tea in the afternoon, right? And I have my sweet treat. Now, Lily's Chocolates is really good. These are chocolate chips, and most of them have stevia in it, but there is some erythritol in it, erythritol. Very low amount, because that messes with your digestion, too. you got to be careful with some of this stuff. But this is chocolate caramel. If you love chocolate and caramel, I'm telling you, it's not as good as C's candy, but this hits the spot. Now I have a little tiny bowl. So I take a little tiny bit of these and I just like eat one at a time and it melts with my tea. Then about eight o'clock, I'll have my dinner and that's either usually a cheeseburger salad. Um, that's, a that's the burger, the cheese, the onion, the chopped pickles, chopped tomatoes. I put lettuce over it with a little squirt of avocado mayonnaise or I'll do tacos. I love these tortillas. There's seven grams of carbs in one of these, but there's seven grams of fiber, so it's zero net carbs. You can't eat more than two of these. But some chopped chicken with some salsa and all that, you melt it and roll it up, eat it with hot sauce. It tastes like a burrito to me, it tastes really good. Or I make like a taco, so it'd be like chopped turkey with uh, cheese, lettuce, tomato, 
taco sauce. Oh, it's really good. So that's the ways you can still have some of the things you absolutely love. Now, another sweet treat I have mainly around falls, I get this organic pumpkin. I mix a container of whipped, it has to be whipped, cream cheese, some pumpkin pie spice, this stuff, and a couple packets of stevia, and it makes, it tastes like pumpkin cheesecake. It's just fabulous. You all, there's so many recipes online, it's insane. What do I like to drink? I usually drink iced tea, but I allow myself one of these a day. This is Zevia. It's clear, there's no colors, fake colors in it. Uh, it's, it's sweetened with stevia. You know, regular sodas, oh God, it's high in phosphorus and destroys your calcium and um, it's aspartame. I mean, really bad sweeteners. So this is really good. And if you wanna have a little cocktail, um, the best no sugar cocktail, you know, you can get low sugar wines if you like to have wine with dinner. I miss wine so much because I, I liked the sweeter wines. Um, but this is caffeine free, zero sugar. Uh, a little bit of this over ice with a little tiny bit of clear rum is heaven. It makes a really nice little nightcap, I'll tell you. But this, I really like. They have a uh, cream soda, they have root beer, they have all the different kinds. Now, I love chips, and then you're gonna get chips, plus chips, nacho cheese, loaded taco. There's four net carbs in each one of these. And again, it's made from fiber and protein. And they have ranch too. They're not cheap. You guys, none of this is cheap, but you know, I'm not buying a bunch of donuts and cakes and bagels and all this stuff. I'm eating really good food. And I think that's what I wanted to show you for the food. I also wanted to show you that oil I talked about last time, Young Living, it's tranquil. And I just roll it here and I put a little on the bottom of my feet and I sleep like a baby. So that's, it's, it's really a good thing. So again, um, good quality proteins, uh, low carb vegetables and healthy fats, avocado, avocado oil, um, olive oil, um, coconut oil, all of those are really good. So now I wanted to share with you what I used to exercise. This is Marie Osmond's Body Gym. So it's a pole with these uh, tension uh, rubber band things and feet things. So you can you can do it standing up. And then she has all the exercises on here. So this is uh, upper body. This is all for upper body, body. And then this is lower body. So you can exercise your whole body. And I'm at the point now where I can't really do jogging or too much walking, I have, I'm bone on bone on one of my knees. So I'm trying to keep it just strength exercises. All right, you all, I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, you cannot go wrong by cutting down your sugar and your processed carbs. Look for nutrition. That's why we say eat for nutrition. But this is a health journey and I just got an air fryer. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be sharing maybe some of my recipes as I go along and perfect some of those too. Hope you loved it. Hope you got inspired and got some health tips. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.